Hi there. This is Mark Hundley, and this is my Live at Five, so I would like to welcome you to this little episode. Um, spring is here, and, and the weather is warm, and, and I'm missing being outside as much as I'd like to be and as I normally am, but I thought today, instead of speaking from my heart, that I would share um, a little something I wrote with you a couple of years ago. It's entitled, Sometimes the World Throws You a Curveball That Doesn't. So listen along and, and see if you can relate. I love baseball. I love playing and watching baseball almost more than anything in the world. In fact, I've even thought about going to those over 60 uh, senior baseball leagues and playing. Haven't quite done it yet, but, I, but I've thought about it. I especially love to watch pitchers. Some of the things those guys make a baseball do are simply amazing. Now, a long time ago, back when dinosaurs were young and dirt was new and I was a kid, I pitched a little myself. Learning how to throw a good curveball was a real challenge. Now, to be fair, most of my curveballs barely broke. Oh, well. But a good curveball, that's a thing of beauty. Life throws us curveballs as well. When we expect something like a pitch fast, straight down the middle, curveball. When we anticipate a much slower change-up, you guessed it, a curveball. When we are looking for a slider or a knuckleball, a curveball. After a while, we begin to believe that all life pitches us are curveballs, and we dig in, ready to smack the next pitch over the fence. And then, sometimes, the world throws us a curveball that doesn't. Yep. Instead of looping away from us and dropping across the plate, the ball flies toward our body as if it were a heat-seeking missile. If we are fortunate, we fall backward or down, missing the impact of the speeding projectile. If we are less fortunate, the curveball that doesn't becomes a bean ball. Ouch. The pitch bounces off our head or thuds into our ribs or glances off our hip. Yep, the wild pitch... The pitch that does what we least expect causes us great pain. Sometimes life is like that. When we begin to believe that there is a, a tell from, from life that allows us to accurately predict what comes next, we're fooled. The curveball that doesn't, and, and we pay the price. What are we to do when this happens, when the curveball decides not to curve? Well, we might consider doing some, some of these things. We might consider recognizing that we are incapable of predicting anything life brings. We might consider picking ourselves up off the ground, paying attention to the place that we were, where we were beamed and giving it a little rub. We might consider accepting a little help for the umpire. We might consider embracing and encur the encouraging words that will come from our teammates. We might consider placing the helmet back on our head, and, and it's always safe uh, to play safely. We might consider dusting ourselves off. We might consider gripping the bat with determination. We might consider standing firm in the batter's box for the next time that we're at bat. We might consider getting ready for that pitch. And we might consider realizing that one pitch does not a life make. You see, sometimes life throws us a curveball that doesn't curve. And when that happens, well, you know what to do next. I hope that all the curveballs that don't curve, that are coming at you, will be received in the manner in which they were tossed, with the intent to make life interesting and give you a chance to grow. I hope you have a great rest of the week, and watch out for those curveballs. Peace.